Bows and arrows at the ready. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five things you didn't know about Robin Hood. Well, even though Prince John offered a huge reward for the capture of Robin Hood, that elusive rogue kept right on robbing the rich to feed the poor. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at interesting and little-known facts about everyone's favorite tights-wearing outlaw. The outlaws always escape in the nick of time. There's chases, fights, escapes from prison, and then the feud with the sheriff climaxes in a showdown. Number 5. A 21st Century Revamp Robin Hood's story has been adapted over 60 times for the small and silver screen, and the latest retelling, titled simply Robin Hood, will hit cinemas in November. You think you're faster? Shoot me. Starring Taron Egerton and Jamie Foxx, it is billed as a grittier version of the classic with a PTSD suffering hero and John Wick levels of bow and arrow action. It also has elements of a superhero origin story, with Robin of Loxley featuring as the outlaw's Bruce Wayne style alter ego. He's not you. Are you sure? Although maybe Oliver Queen would make for a better comparison. You can't be the arrow, he died, so who are you? You're about to find out. Number 4. Robin Hood may not have existed at all Robin Hood first appeared in poems believed to date back to the 1370s, but were these based on fact or fiction? It's really weird. Maybe there never ever was a real historical Robin Hood. Maybe the stories are just that, a mishmash of old legends. The name Robin Hood was commonly used in medieval England and appears frequently in court records from the time. But then more and more people called Robin Hood or Robin Hood started to pop up. But these weren't just random individuals. Alternatively, the moniker may simply have meant robber of the woods. <laughs> If Robin Hood did exist, one theory is that his real identity was the Earl of Huntington. The Earl's 12th century grave in Yorkshire identifies him as both an outlaw and an archer without equal. This is Robin Hood's grave. That is believed to be the original stone that covered the grave. Number 3. Robin Hood was originally middle class. Rise Robin, Baron of Loxley, Earl of Sherwood and Nottingham and lord of all the lands and manors appertaining thereto. Whilst modern day adaptations portray Robin Hood as a nobleman, early ballads depicted him as a Yemen. Neither an aristocrat nor a peasant, but something in between. Every Englishman's home is his castle. It wasn't until Tudor times that playwrights started ennobling the outlaw, and Robin Hood's status as a revolutionary was also a later development. In early folklore, the so-called Prince of Thieves didn't think peasants were being mistreated, and he certainly didn't care about shaking up the social order. When you rob the rich, you give it all to the poor. Yes! I love giving it to the poor! Woof! Woof! So much for stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Congratulations, well done. <laughs> Number 2. There was no Sheriff of Nottingham in the time of Robin Hood Everyone knows that Robin Hood's tormentor-in-chief was the Sheriff of Nottingham, yet that particular office wasn't created until 1449, around 80 years after the legend first cropped up. No more merciful beheadings. And call off Christmas. Instead, regional peacekeeping duties fell on the awkwardly named Shire Reeve of Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, and the Royal Forests. So we can see why playwrights might have wanted a shorter title. Will you not yield? No. As well as the Sheriff, Friar Tuck, and Maid Marian were late additions to the Robin Hood story. Some have suggested that Marian may also have been a black woman and early accounts link her closer, perhaps romantically, with the friar rather than Robin himself. Marion, it is me, Robin. Congratulations, leave. Number one, the merry men weren't so merry. We're men in tights. We run from the rich and give to the poor, that's right. Don't be fooled by portrayals of Robin Hood's followers as lovable rogues in tights. 
According to old stories, Robin Hood's band may have been anything from 5 to 140 strong, but every one of those outlaws would have been a fierce, competent killer. In the ballad Robin Hood and the Monk, much the Miller's son cold-bloodedly kills a young boy, while Robin Hood himself attacks Little John simply for defeating him in an archery contest, which suggests Robin might not have been the all-conquering bowman we believed. Those details don't always make it into the movies, though. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.